we felt for years that we were supposed to do a, an adoption in Africa, and our quest to satisfy that calling led us to Good Shepherd's Fold. Pulling up to GSF, Claudia drove us down this really long driveway and there was a gate and all the kids were out waiting for us and in their little skirts and like doing a welcome dance for us and it just it felt like home right when we got there. Good Shepherd's Fold is like this serious light in this really dark place. Um, the, just the normal tragedy that people live in every day, um, it's just a, something that in America you just can't even get your arms around. You think you can prepare your mind for like the poverty you're gonna see and like the people there just have nothing. You see those things on National Geographic, like they're not out my car window. When you see this place, this 100 acre facility that just God uses to serve all kinds of people that are just out of this world. There's about 90 to 100 kids at GSF at any given point. There's over 300 that go to school at GSF that are either live at the orphanage or from the village that surrounds the orphanage. There's hundreds that are served through the clinic that they have there, the medical clinic and the nutritional clinic that they have there. There's thousands that get water uh, because they have clean drinking water at GSF and people from the villages around there come and drink that water. While we were at GSF, we met this really chunky kid, really chunky kid named Chachi. And what was incredible is that we heard that when Chachi came to GSF just months earlier, he weighed 10 pounds and was 14 months old. GSF takes these kids in and they nurture them and they give them love and they give them clothes and they give them an education and they teach them about who God is and that they're special and that they're made for good works that God's prepared in advance for them to do. It's just so neat that even though these stories of tragedy that brought these kids to GSF are super sad and super heartbreaking, the thing that gets me most is that that's not the end of the story. That these kids, like Grace and Martha, ended up in our family. Uh, some of these kids are adopted. Some of these kids go on, like Eric, who's going to be a pilot. He's going to college to be a pilot. Um, like, like Solomon, who's going to university to be a teacher. Uh, and then there's Domily, who started up a baby's home of her own, graduates out of GSF, and goes and starts her own ministry, taking in babies, orphan babies. Unbelievable. That is the beautiful part of GSF. The fruit of the ministry is absolutely incredible. Without GSF, I think these kids maybe wouldn't have a future. Maybe some of them would die of malaria or HIV because they don't have medicine. A lot of them would be uneducated. Like a lot of the village kids that come to GSF for school, they wouldn't be able to go to school. They wouldn't have a family. They wouldn't have a place to sleep. Like, I don't know what happens to these kids without GSF. That's the scary thing. I just don't know what happens to them. Like, you, you think like, oh, I'm just one person, I can't make a difference, but you just can. And maybe it's not adopting, because I know that's not everyone's calling, but it's going there and holding someone's hand while they go to church and, you know, tucking them in at night and loving on the staff there, because they don't, they don't get that every day. People sponsoring children, people donating to the ministry, people who uh, are willing to accept the call to come serve alongside these warriors that are there doing God's work in Uganda on the front lines every day. After being at GSF, we realized that we can go without a lot that we thought we needed. And it's no problem to not do something so that we can help the ministry. Because there are kids starving and dying in Africa, and we know their names. As much as you want to remember it, like part of you just like really wants to forget everything you just saw too, you know? Could we have brought home one more? Could we have could we have done one more thing? Could I have hugged him one more time? GSF has changed my life and I can't imagine not being a part of it for the rest of my life. When all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine, yeah. I 
can only imagine.